right before we got on the show, uh, Kate sent me this one of our one of our viewers. Thank you, Kate. And I she didn't think it would be cool for the for the show, but I, I thought it was really neat. It, there's a there's a video attached to it. It's kind of long. Um, Australia is so beautiful. But anyways, uh, this British defense secretary here, uh, Grant Shapps, he is traveling around uh, in a they threw him in the backseat of a Super Hornet and they, you know, Australia has both the uh, growler and the uh, and the regular, the fighter Super Hornet. And they put uh, they put them in the back. So the Brits don't use the Super Hornet. And it was part of a they sell the idea kind of on like, hey, you can kind of look at some of our capabilities. It shows him taking off here three. It's two jets. They got three tanks, maybe a couple 500 pounders. I don't know what else, but uh <laughs> i'm not sure if i'm a i mean yes if you've never been in a fighter before you, you take the opportunity but um i don't know if this if the this Brit, uh, british government official has any military time but given the choice i'm probably gonna want to ride in the biz jet um at the at the end of the I mean, yeah, you're eight points connected sitting on a rocket seat. You know, there's no bathroom breaks in this bad boy unless you got a bag with you, right? <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, this it's is, two ship. Yeah, that, Doug, let it play from here. It's I, I think it's, I mean, I visited Australia when I was in, you know, when me and my wife lived out in yeah. Malaysia. It was, it was such a beautiful country. <clears throat> but yeah, man, look at that. Is that a travel pod? No, dude, those are fuel tanks, my friend. <laughs> no, on the left, to the left of the fuel tank is that? No, a, it's a five hundred. It's a, I think it's a five hundred pounder. It had bombs on it, man. It looked like it had really bombs. nilly flying around with five hundred pounders. It looked like <clears throat> I could be wrong, but it looked like yeah, such a beautiful shot. It uh, it looked like maybe five hundred thousand pounders. I can't remember. Top uh, Gun three confirmed right there. Maverick is the dignitary getting flown around in the Super Hornet, and then. Country X intercepts and he has to pilots incapacitated. He has to take over. That's so funny, man. That, that script has already been written. Um, but uh, at the very end of the article, it's kind of funny. It just says, you know, in a, in a commercial airline, this six, you know, a uh, thousand kilometer, which is what 600 mile journey would take, you know, an, uh, an hour to an hour and a half. And I'm like, well, dude, in a super hornet like that, you just added 30 minutes to your trip. Cause <laughs> I'm sorry, man. The super hornet does not cruise as fast as an airliner does. There it is. Right. It's like yeah. when flying commercially, the flight time for the thousand kilometer journey between was it uh, Canberra? Is that how you pronounce it? I, don't know, I can't, uh, pronounce he, it. Adelaide. he have, listen, he could either have a super hornet or he could have Margot Robbie, as his flight attendant <laughs> in his private jet. Yeah. I, yeah. On a thousand kilometer journey in a government business jet, I'm sure they're, you know, they're, they're drinking coffee. What eating, even uh, is a kilometer gonky? Who cares? Uh, as the mover would say a thousand commie units. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll no, hate I thought, to gonky. So I, I, I wanted to ask mover. Have you, or do you know anybody that has flown a, foreign or not foreign government official that's not military in the in the backseat of a jet i so the first thing that came to mind when i saw that was that rafal where the 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 he was a local like either business or government official that punched himself out you know he had a oh, his medical oh. clearance and wow. uh, he bunted and he grabbed the handle as he bunted and punched himself out and the only reason he didn't punch both of them out is because the seat sequencer failed uh between the two seats so right. the other guy just landed um i mean we at 204 we had congressman scalise oh okay and, did he get yeah, a ride yeah pep took him for a flight oh I yeah because i i met the capitol police's bodyguards they gave me a patch cool um yeah uh so congressman so it does scalise, happen here yeah i mean yeah um but you mean foreign i don't i'm sure it does i mean now that's a fam ride or an incentive ride right that's a dedicated you know we're just going to go out do loops to music and come back to use it as a taxi service i don't know that's an man. operational squadron too man that I yeah think that's one, one squadron that's a little different to use it as its personal taxi i just 
The well, optics they are bad. They sold it as a uh, capabilities demonstrator, which okay. Well, they brought bombs. But, yeah, I mean, they brought five hundred pounders. I'm not against it. I, I I think I think it's really cool. Um, it's definitely outside the yeah the box because I, I I can't. I mean, I've I've given a lot. Uh, you know, quite a few backseat rides, but it's always been military people like midshipmen sailor you oh, know, really? sailors of the year airmen of the year yeah no i mean farley took mark greeny who's really? an author yeah really yeah yeah no usually that stuff is uh left to the blues right uh no he, he, he took the the author guy wow i um, didn't know that yeah no we're in active duty navy we never took uh, a lot of squadrons, like they have the honorary squadron commander that's a civilian, they get rides in the Air Force. Honor Guard, so, did you say? Honorary squadron commander. So like um, local like business leaders or town leaders or whatever, where a squadron is like at Luke, yeah, they will uh, nominate an honorary squadron commander that kind of liaises to the civilian public. And they'll get a ride typically in an F-16. Oh. Um, hmm. Yeah, it happens. I mean, it happens. Um, yeah. Well, if I ever make make it back to Australia, I'd treat me as a diplomat. I'll take a ride. I'll do the, the Margo Robbie flight attendant option. <laughs> yeah, or that. I'll do that one too. <laughs> no, you're married. You can't. <laughs> uh, yeah, the PG version. <laughs> yeah. 